as a business, we, we really feel strongly that, that we're in a privileged position um, being able to invest and set up a business in, in a developing country like Cambodia. We feel really strongly that, that we need to ensure that we act responsibly and, and make a positive impact on, on the local communities in which we operate. The goal originally was to create a great hostel where people could come, have a good time. Uh, start jobs for the local people. You know, it was always our dream to be able to employ as many locals as we could. We really work hard to recruit employees who 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 wouldn't usually have access to to op opportunities to develop their skills. With the Mad Monkey Hostels, one of the benefits we have is we've been lucky enough to kind of choose to operate a business where it, it's enjoyable. Um, our guests are here most of the time, they're relatively stress-free, they're not working, they're here on holiday, they're here to enjoy themselves. Therefore, we're able to have that same attitude with our staff, within a level of professionalism, but we try to let them be as natural as possible. And that's been a great facilitator for, for our business to, to keep on growing, because they really care about their jobs, they really care about the, the customer experience and they want to learn, as, as do we. If someone, they cannot speak English at all, Mad Monkey sponsor the staff to go study in school. We do eight different English classes a week across three different levels. I'm happy because uh, before, I cannot speak English. I cannot speak English at all, but I just like say, how are you, and then what is your name? Because uh, in Simbib, if you don't know English, too hard. Find a job. I work at Mad Monkey the first time. I work at a cleaner and now uh, I will change uh, work behind the bar. So, but now I can speak English so, and I get a good job also. So, I love my job. And everyone likes happy, enjoy with their work and enjoy with their English speaking. And um, we also provide them with any, all of their health care. If any type of in injury, um, even if it's not work related or any sickness, we um, take them to the doctor and make sure they get the, the proper health care. And they feel like, wow, before they lie, it's like very, very low. And now they start like uh, step by step. We are a profit-making business, but it's, we feel it's sustainable for us to also give back to the community, help the people around us. The Mad Monkey Hostels in, in each location, we always find it important that whilst running business there, um, that we, we take an approach where we do take on some social responsibility as much as we are able to do. So in CM Week, we work with the Cambodian Buddhist Association for Vulnerable Children um, installing water wells around the provinces. So in Phnom Penh we work with A New Day Cambodia, um, Cambodian Children's Fund and the Rabbit School. In Kampot we work, have been working with Epic Arts and uh, Salah Monkey. At the Mad Monkey we decide to support organisations that are here for the long term. They're not just going to walk into a child's life with a colour of books for a day and then walk back out. They're going to be there, they're going to build relationships with them and help them become a better person and have a, a great future. Why wouldn't we operate in, in as a responsible manner as possible? Why wouldn't we try and make, uh, make sure that our staff is happy, are as happy as possible? Why wouldn't we invest in developing their skills? Why wouldn't we... Uh, try to actively employ um, staff who otherwise might not get access to opportunities to a brighter future. Why wouldn't we actively employ staff who have intellectual and physical disabilities if we can and really galvanise that team and family spirit that we work hard to nurture within, within our business. And I just, I don't understand why other businesses wouldn't do the same. It's just a, a no-brainer for us. <laughs>